Hi everyone, this is Neeraj Kumar and I'm welcoming you back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about MS Form. We all have been using MS Form in our workplace. And if you are a teacher, a trainer, then you need to work a lot on MS Form. You have been doing it guys. So this is really wonderful platform through which you can have lots of things. So today I'm going to talk about how you can also organize or schedule your own LMS quiz for the students. So you just need to go through the following steps which I'm going to tell you in brief. So I've already done with MS form so just need to search MS form. You just need to open Microsoft Office form. So it's already open for me so if you are going to design a new quiz or as a LMS quiz for the students and you can schedule that easily so you just need to go to new quiz and if you're going to design the quiz you must be already having the basic idea so I have already done with the headline and other things so just need to copy and paste here the title if you have got certain description also you can write here as well related with your topic related with your content you can al already see here add new so you just need to add new you can see here the choices this would be uh, multiple uh, choice based questions MCQs or the test where you can have uh, you can ask them to come up with the descriptive also so I have already set with the MCQs so yeah you can see I'm going to just copy the question from here and then pasting it here so it becomes really very easy look here now regarding options I have these four options and the correct one as well so I'm going to choose all these options copying it and then pasting it in the first option look here now I have copied yeah you can already see that all options are already taken so I don't need to have different options option number two I'm deleting so I do have all these options so I already know the correct also and you can see below here I can put certain marks for them as well and yes of course it has to be mandatory for all the students okay and then adding new sets of question the same thing I'll do so I am doing it just to help you out to understand that how you can also come up with the same thing but your question paper should be ready okay and your options are also should be ready you can this um, manually enter each questions or you can just enter multiple questions also so I'm taking the example of manually entering the options as well as the questions look here thing is done then I already know the correct also so look here only once you need to do and you can have uh, different themes for that you can have multiple themes look here guys you can have multiple themes already some uh, like multiple links are also there okay that means themes are also there so you can have look you can customize as per your choice okay and you can just have a preview also this is how it will have a start time and how, how it will have start time I'll, I'm going to tell you so you can supposed to go to the settings and in setting you can see it here anyone can respond only people in my organization can respond you can record their name you can have a limitations also that one person can only enter once why only people in my organization can respond because uh, in university and colleges and institutions students would be using only the official email ID so you have to make sure that you need to get the data officially means uh, they cannot not have multiple responses so one question one student should have only one chance to for the test here you can see you can accept the responses you have to fix the time limit also so you can schedule your this time as per your convenience you can have a start date in date uh, start time in time you can set the time duration for the set also set of the question also the questions all all entire set this is how so you just need to collect the response copy the link and then sending it to the students that's it 